On the same day, Israel officially launched a ground invasion into Gaza. Egyptian Prime Minister Mustafa Madbouli announced the next phase of an ambitious investment plan for North Sinai, which borders Israel and Gaza. Islamist militants have been waging an insurgency in this area for years, which meant that any investment the Egyptian government made here was aimed at curbing violence. Madbouli says Egypt has changed strategy and has put the focus on development rather than defense to help bring peace and prosperity to the region. To protect a land from the greed of others, the best way is not only by installing one of the strongest armies, the most organized and the best equipped with arms. The only way to protect a place is by developing it, to build and get local people busy with work. So no one will dare to think or dream that this place is to fulfill their greedy desires. What we are launching today is the easiest part of our national plan. That is to erect projects above the ground over the infrastructure we established. The Egyptian premier announced an 11.7 billion US dollars comprehensive investment plan to develop all aspects of life in North Sinai. The government says it will build a railroad to connect trade from the Gulf of Aqaba and the Red Sea to here in Al Arish city on the Mediterranean, where the construction of a massive trade port is underway. Local residents say the project is very much welcomed. As the Prime Minister presented, we hope that this development plan gets implemented as soon as possible. This will be of great benefit to our children and the next generations. We've suffered for long from wars and terrorism. Today in North Sinai, we are enjoying stability and peace. We do not want to go back to that struggle. We have won one war against terrorists. Today we join hands with the state and the military to build together these projects. It's an honor to see an excellent plan like that get implemented here. We are happy with the trust the government is putting in us and we vow to push forward these projects with all our might. About 2,000 kilometers of road are set to be paved in the plan to develop Sinai. From schools to universities, water desalination facilities and factories, Egypt wants to establish complete touristic and industrial complexes. On top of that, the government also wants to cultivate more than 370,000 acres of agricultural land. The ambitious plan the Prime Minister announced is the second stage of a national development program President El Sisi launched in 2014. During the past 10 years, Egypt invested some 9 billion US dollars in infrastructure in this region. And despite the ongoing war across the Palestinian border with North Sinai, the government wants to invest 130% more funds into projects here during the next five years. Aydel Mahroui, CGTN from North Sinai in Egypt.